Technically, cloning the GitHub repository is also an option to install Magento. However, this approach should only be used when creating a pull request to the Magento core. The main problem with this approach is that several important files that need to be modified during the lifetime of a project are under version control. For example, one benefit that using a GitHub clone seems to have at first is that upgrades could be as simple as running git pull. But this does not take into account any dependency constraints that are specified in a module's composer.json file. And that's why upgrades should be done by composer and not by git. Also, when using a GitHub-based installation, conflicts with the upstream are quite common, for example in the root composer.json file. If an extension needs to be installed, this means adding a line to the require section. Then, if the upstream composer.json file is changed, a git pull will easily result in a merge conflict. Well, let's assume we do want to create a pull request to the core. Maybe we are going to participate at a contribution day, or maybe we found a bug and want to contribute a fix. For this, we do need a copy of the Magento 2 repository. All we need to do is we need to copy the repository URL and then run git clone. And we can specify the target directory as a third argument. Let's speed this whole thing up a bit on video. If you want to contribute back to Magento by creating a pull request, then using the GitHub repository to base your installation on is the right thing to do. But ask the community engineering team what branch to use. Otherwise, don't do it. Use Compose a Create Project or download the zip file archive instead.